Hello, my name is Christian, I'm with SAP and today I will show you how easy it is to set up a backup and restore with SAP. The first thing um, we need is a running backup server like this here. This is our Sepsism appliance, a very easy ISO image what you can download where everything is prepared. Um, this is what I used here for this exercise and um, you can see in one of our videos, you know, in the chapter installing and setting up a SAP appliance, how easy it is to have a, you know, running backup environment. The second thing we need, um, I will show you my backup environment here very quick. This is my backup server, the SAP App 1, and the OES 11 GW 2012 is my group wise server, but I have also my e directory running on this system. So when we go to this system with a putty and um, type in yeah the rpm minus qa pipe grab season then you see that we have to install the sap season client and the season novel client on the system the season novel client is the data mover you need this data mover in every environment just once so um, in reality it would make sense to install this data mover on your backup server. So then on a backup server it looks like this. I did it twice so that you can um, see which option is the better working for you. Okay, in this case I have my server package and my Novell client installed. The appliance is able to run the data mover function. With a regular slash 11 or with a red hat you cannot you know make your data mover running because you need the novel sms components for that so your backup server when you want that the backup server is the data mover it has to be a oes 11 with all the novel sms components on or our sap season appliance because we were able to modify the system a little so that it can you know work as the data mover the second thing is sometimes you have um, a Windows server as your backup server. So you have to install the data mover on one of your OES clients. But you can use this data mover now for all your, let me say, for the whole Novell environment. But the one thing what you have to be sure about is that the data traffic goes now from every Novell server to this system and then from this system to the backup server. So a centralized backup server who can also be the data mover makes absolutely sense. Perfect. Step number two, load the right TSA. Um, I think the configuration is here, etc, opt, novel, sms, smdrd.conf. Perfect. And um, the only entry I did was here the line auto load column space TSA NDS. The second thing I did was to um, restart my SMS services with this command RC novel minus SMDRD space restart. And to see if this service is really running, um, we can do here in the directory opt novel sms bin the command sms config minus t and here we can see that the tsa nds is loaded perfect step number two is add this e directory client here in the sepsism server the first point components topology i create a new location for um, novel right click new client enter the host name always the host name that's a reason why your name resolution um, has to be checked before operating system OES Linux type in the right credentials dot admin dot SCP this is very important um, that you start here with a dot because without this dot he doesn't know where to start in the in the directory tree and you 
won't get a successful e directory backup. And here my super secret password. Data mover, remember, um, in my case, in this case, I can use both of them because you remember I installed the Novell client on both of the systems, the backup server and the group by server. But I will select the group by server now, um, you know, that you can see it maybe better how it works. This system message is very important to us. Season client is already installed. Access is valid. Perfect. Do you like like to create a new backup job? No, because I will show you where to do that. We jump now to tasks by clients, open our new novel location, and we can see our yeah newly added client OES 11 GW 2012. With a right click, we can say new backup task. Browse here by clicking this arrow directly into the system, opening the novel services. Oh, this is the group by, sorry. Open the e directory. Yes, and um, when you get here an error message, then please check A, the name resolution between the e directory server and the CSIM server. Second, the, re the credential, what you typed in in the properties of the client. Um, the third thing is that the user you're using is allowed to browse the e-directory and um, yeah and then the only thing we have to do is just click here on the full directory backup agree with OK and you see he automatically created a backup a task name for us um, a backup type and um, the right backup source agree with OK with a right click we can do an immediate start backup type full media pool doesn't matter any pool agree with OK job state backups yes perfect we see that um, the backup is active and it's successful because it's just you know very small and the restore is also very simple right click immediate start no sorry right click restore select the task again and the right time period selected backup task you know the latest ones go to next and then you can just browse into your tree and select some items um, the customer I know about prefer mostly the complete restore of the selected task so when you have to do a bare metal recovery install your OES 11 install you know the right e directory use the same host name for everything so you know that the system is pretty much um, prepared to import the same e directory structure and then do a complete restore of the selected task say override existing files auto recover after restore and start and you will see this procedure takes a second or maybe two seconds and then it's successful so that's the way how to do a backup and restore of an e-directory. Thank you for watching this video and um, if you have any questions contact our support team. Thank you. Bye-bye.